Hey, this is a call for basketball. I just want to make a quick video about um, Brandon, Florida, which 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 is where I stay at. Um, and I am proud to be from Brandon right now. Uh, Ron DeSantis has made a speech about the mandates and pushing back against it. And we're being we are successful. And that's a good thing. <clears throat> we're going to keep on pushing back. We were here to celebrate a great uh, city in the state of Florida, a freedom city. And it's important that when you have the federal government overreaching like Joe Biden's doing, uh, that we sign legislation to protect Floridians. And doing it here in Brandon, you know, I think is especially meaningful because I think people here really appreciate it. So we are proud to have a huge turnout of folks that came to, to watch what was going on. And we're proud to be able to deliver substantively for workers in the state of Florida. Brandon, Florida has become the shining city on the hill. <laughs> It is not lost on Floridians or the American people that this administration continues to make reckless, misguided policy decisions with no regard for the ultimate consequences of, for in the individual well-being of the American people. Uh, as long as you can continue to see these types of decisions, short-sighted, reckless political decisions without true understanding of consequences or the individual circumstances of the people their decisions are affecting, you'll continue to see people pushing back, whether that's let's go Brandon, whether that's pushback among communities and, you know, whether that's a chant or whether that's uh, demonstrating it in, in legal action to formally push back, uh, I think you'll continue to see that throughout this administration. To be clear, because of our effort. And that's good. We need to push back against everything they're doing because what they're doing is unconstitutional and it's immoral. But let them, let them tell it. They don't want us YouTube talking about it. They don't want us talking about it. They want to censor it. But they can't censor this. This is on Fox News. They're 80, 18 point something million followers, subscribers. Censor that. Can't censor everything. We censor everything because we're speaking the truth. They don't want us speaking the truth. They don't want us pushing back. They want to keep us shut up and not influ you know, influence others. But you know what? We're all tired of this. We're all tired of the force and 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 and, and the and the and the gagging and the holding and the and the mask and all that other shit. We're tired of it. And everyone that's watching this video feels where I'm coming from, and they're gonna hit the fucking like button because they're gonna get this video out there because we're tired of shit. We're tired of y'all telling us what to do. We're tired of, tired of YouTube censoring us and t and and treating us like fucking children. We're rising up. Because when President Biden said, bring it on, dare to challenge me as president of the United States, who's going to impose my will and authority on every American, the majority of American workers, we said. Which is unconstitutional and reckless and, and just goes against everything America stands for. Fine, we will. We've been successful. There's a stay on the OSHA mandate. We expect we will see success in our other actions. And so to be clear right now, there is absolutely no federal mandate as it pertains to the OSHA rule that will require Florida workers to be vaccinated. While we are pushing back legally against the sweeping federal mandates that are totally unlawful, there's no basis in federal law that would allow for a president of the United States to mandate these vac vaccines federally, we knew within Florida, if we're successful federally in pushing back, as I suspect, suspect we will be, we wanted to make sure Florida, uh, not only what came out strong, I've also had success in appearing in cases where we're protecting government employees that have been told by, unit, by cities that they had to be mandated, uh, police officers, firefighters. This is nuts that they actually think that they will force us out of a job because of no magic potion. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And they, 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 they're gonna, we're gonna just lie down like Australia. We're gonna, we're gonna just lie down hell now. We're gonna fight the good fight. We knew we needed to clarify that law. And we also knew we needed to do something within Florida. And that's what our legislature has done. Uh, and so it's a two front uh, protection of the Flor Florida worker. Don't fucking tread on me. Fuck you, don't fucking tread on me tired of y'all censoring and telling people what they can and cannot do fuck you hit the like button guys let's get this video out there let's go brandon